Great atmosphere here in Krug Park. It's the first ever quarterfinal clash between these counties and only their second championship meeting ever. The previous uh, clash happened back in 2001, a round two qualifier with Kildare winning by just one point, with ironically Johnny Doyle top scorer with five points. As you saw on your screens, David Coldrick, referee of the All-Ireland Final in 2006 and last year, is the man in charge. Donegal won the toss. They're playing from left to right. And we look forward to a game that I think could be dominated by tactics, by strategies. Kevin McStay will have more about that, no doubt. And away we go. We're looking forward to what we hope will be a good game of football. Kildare with Emmett Bolton, sending it down towards James Kavna. Looking sharp in the early stages, giving it back, fires Morgan O'Flaherty. Good ball inside. Back there is Rory Kavna. Scored a goal against Cavan in the uh, second round quarterfinal, per se, of the Ulster Championship. And good to see him back in the starting 15. Michael Hegarty bringing the ball forward. Far as Neil Gallagher. Ball given away. Far as Andrew McLaughlin. Emmett Bolton laying it off. As Kildare go into the attack yet again. One man up front, James Kavner. Two Donegal players around him. One of them is Frank McGlenn. Nice pick up here by Brian Flanagan. First free as the whistle is blown. Marty, I can tell you, just after the throw-in, there was a clash between John Doyle and uh, Michael Hegarty, and John Doyle has come out of a completely accidental clash, I should add, and uh, he's limping badly on it. He's had a bit of treatment already, and he's going to actually have a go at this free, so got a, a heavy belt very early on. And you can see there that John is uh, trying the old uh, traditional way of uh, running off the injury. That was the way mentors would tell you once upon a time, run it off there, John, you'll be fine. Well, it's going to be an interesting uh, test for Johnny Doyle. Still doing the business. And ironically enough, despite the fact that he's played most of this championship season in midfield, he's the top scorer for the Lily Whites with two goals and 21 points. Certainly taking his time. Both the players very close to him as well in the run up to the feature of the first match. Going across the face of the goal. Kept in by Tomas O'Connor. Is this on target? Yes, it is. Morgan O'Flaherty. Owen O'Flaherty, I should say. Gets the first score for Kildare. After just two minutes of play. Good work by O'Connor. Knocking it out to his centre half forward certainly was good work by O'Connor but the point it was making and it was a feature of the Tyrone Ross Common game the players just backing off maybe seven eight meters from freeze in an attempt to get into the eye line of the free takers certainly uh, something the refs should be watching very carefully good kick out by Paul Durkin Kildare starting this strategy of breaking the ball as much as possible just two Donegal players inside the Kildare half of the field so what will the Kieran McGinney's plan to open up this blanket defence? Both teams have only conceded one goal in the championship so far. Emmett Bolton crossing it over for us, Eamon Callaghan. Second frame for Kildare. Just three minutes gone. And that's the one aspect of this blanket defence, mass defence, that you want to get right, is the balance between tidy defending good tackling and then illegal tackling leading to freeze like this because Johnny Doyle is pretty much on song he's uh, one of our best free takers you'd have to say in the championship and this is uh, an angle again that's a bit better but again Marty just see how close the, well, the referee is getting involved this time Johnny Doyle of course uh, made a little bit of history in the last game he was the first player to rack up 100 points through the qualifiers He's currently registering 104 points in the qualifiers. And that ball has gone wide. Is that the injury or is it just inaccuracy? We don't know. You'd expect him to get them normally. It wasn't a difficult free. It was on the right side for him, the correct side. And uh, he just didn't strike it that well and it drifted. 
Two former Armagh footballers, Kieran McGinney and Aidan O'Rourke. Both players in the half back line. Kieran McGinney, fourth year in charge of the Lily Whites. Paul Durkin from the Four Masters Club and Donny Goldtown. Well done. Johnny Dawe setting up Eamon Callan. Usually produces the goods in the second half, as we've seen here in Crook Bar. Working back there is Mark McHugh, son of Martin, won in All Ireland in 1992. And ironically, 19 years later, Mark McHugh's son wins an Ulster Championship medal. First time since Tony Cole, of course, won the Ulster in that time. Bit of a scramble here, picked straight off the ground. David Coldrick is going to give a throw ball. Neil Gallagher is the eight. Darrell Flynn is the man. And so far, Kildare are the team that has started with an air of confidence to Tomas O'Connor. Will they try the long, high ball into O'Connor to try and beat the blanket defence? Carl Lacey started this championship campaign at right corner back. He'll be wearing number six this evening. Patrick McBrearty wins the hard ball and gets the overlap and the possession. Hard to believe he's still only 17. Back first, Kevin Cassidy, all star 0 6, ticking inside. Back first, McBrearty is deadly on the left foot, he's under pressure and it's gone over the bar. He'll be 18 next Friday. He really is a special talent, has tremendous pace and has a really strong work ethic. Long ball from Robert Cap. They're aiming at O'Connor. Cleverly knocks it back. Far as Brian Flanagan. Challenged by Carl Lacey. Picked up by Tori Gonee. Scored a great point the last day. Here's a cross. Comes off the crossbar. Paul Durkin had it covered. What a dangerous ball from a goalkeeper's perspective. Rory Cavan lays it off. To left corner back, Paddy McGrath. Member of that under 21 team. Got to the All Ireland final last year. Patrick McBrearty. Not back. Referee says play on. Eamon Callan playing deep. Getting a lot of ball. Challenged initially by Michael Hegarty. Eventually comes to Brian Flanagan. Hits a fair shoulder, takes the hit and delivers one as well. John Doyle has to go back for his aim and Callahan. But Callahan under pressure sends it well wide. Second wide of the match for Kildare. Just watch this again. Keep an eye on the keeper. Dangerous ball. Dangerous ball indeed. He gets the bounce of it this time. And that uh, in the last little cameo was the challenge that uh, Kildare faced, Marty. They're going to have to shoot from distance because the pressure Donegal can exert once you bring it in uh, over the 45. And that really is the challenge. Loose ball picked up by Anthony Thompson. Carl Lacey goes forward from centre half back. Needs a little bit of support. Back fires Neil Gallagher. David Walsh gets it eventually to Mark McHugh. Patrick McBrearty. Tony Gall need a little bit of a boost. A confidence booster arrives as Donegal get their second point of the match. Well, that was patience, wasn't it? Didn't seem to know where they, where they wanted to go with it or what they wanted to do. And then in the end, a great uh, shot from Rory Kavanagh and over it goes. Push on the back there, clearly. And the knee is the sore part of it, though.
Eamon Callahan, 27 year old from uh, Nace. Scored a cracking goal, you will recall, here in Croke Park against Dublin in the Leinster semi final. For Patrick McBrearty from Kilcar. He will be doing his leaving cert next year. And he's already a Donegal senior footballer. Interesting to see how deep Robert Kelly is playing. There's a little bit of afters between McFadden and Robert Kelly. It's a thing of nothing because it just seemed to me to be a fair shoulder. Kelly is still on the ground and slowly gets to his knees. Let's see what happened. Ballet lessons, I think. Hollywood beckons. Paul Durkin is all of six foot five, 27 year old. Certainly a, a man that uh, has grown into the goalkeeper's uh, position over the last number of years. Clearly, first choice. Well gathered by Darrell Flynn. Well recovered from injury as well. Morgan O'Flaherty from the Carbury Club lays it off. James Cavanaugh's Kildare continue to switch corners. Back out for us, Michael Foley from a car. Tori O'Neill was calling for it. Referee David Coldrick felt that Foley could have delivered the ball. And as a result of uh, overcarrying, it's a free for Donegal. Neil Galler. David Walsh. McFad playing wonderful football this championship center. On the turn, off the post, unlucky. And not a sinner in sight looking for the break. That's the problem with everybody filtering back in defense. They will call it nobody to look at the break when it flew off the post. Toy O'Neill to Robert Kelly team and Callan back to Kelly. Michael Hegarty fouling. Here comes the challenge. It was high. And also their legs tangled, which the referee might well interpret as a trip. And that's why he's giving the free, I suggest. And I mentioned a few minutes ago, Marty, that the concession of frees, you know, will break down any defence eventually. It'll make you have to come out and play. But uh, they'll have to watch it. Donegal are just conceding a little bit too easy, a little bit too anxious in the tackle. Here's a man who has scored 10 points in the championship campaign so far. Ono Flaherty, centre forward on the under 21 team that got to the All Ireland a few seasons ago. Well capable of scoring this, and that's exactly what he's done. Level for the second time in Crook Park. Touchdown again was aimed at Morgan O'Flaherty. Darrell Flynn did all the hard work. Emmett Bolton to Robert Kelly. As Kildare clearly adopted a two-man full forward line of Tomas O'Connor and James Cavan. Emmett Bolton challenged here by Carl Lacey. First to the ball, always go for it, take whichever one you want, it's the bottle for any defender. So full credit to Anton Thompson. Michael Hegarty swings this, but it was never, never going to reach the goalposts. Well wide of the target. Thirty-one year old uh, Michael Hegarty. Rated in Donegal until, I suppose, Michael Murphy and Patrick McBrearty arrived on the scene to be the top footballer in the county, given sterling service to his county over the last number of years. Tim McGuinness, happy enough. 50-50 in terms of possession. Morgan O'Flaherty. 
to Johnny Dwight. Back to Flaherty again. Started this campaign at right half forward. 